Hi everyone, this is Eve Ewing, the artist in residence at the Boston Children's Museum, which means it must be time for me to answer some more of your questions in this segment of Ask Eve, which is a time for me to respond to things that people left for me in the Ask the Artist box at the Children's Museum. So I have a few really good questions today. Um, the first question comes from Maya, age seven, and she wants to know why did Eve want to work here? And I assume by here she means the Children's Museum. So um, some people from the Children's Museum invited me to see if I wanted to do an art project there. And I was very excited because I love art. And when I was a young person, I really loved art a lot. And I noticed that even though when you go to a museum to see art, uh, it's something you can enjoy at all ages. But a lot of museums are not really geared towards young people as the first audience. They're more spaces that are welcoming to adults. And they're not always welcoming or friendly to kids. So I thought it would be really cool to make a big piece of art in a place like the Children's Museum that's so welcoming to kids of all ages. And I also thought that the gallery space in the museum was very beautiful and interesting. So I feel very honored to work there. And it's been really exciting. Exciting. Um, the next question comes from Lily, age four, and Lily wants to know, what is your favorite color? And that's such a hard question, Lily, because I have so many different colors that I like. Um, I like black, I like gold, I like brown, I like green, I like red, I like pretty much mostly every color. Um, so that's probably cheating a little bit, but if I see you, I hope that I ever I get to meet you sometime and hear what your favorite color is since I kind of cheated and I like all of them. And my last question for today comes from Bianca, age nine, and Bianca wants to know, do you ever use charcoal to draw? And the answer is yes, I do. So if you've seen a map home at the Children's Museum, you'll see that it's mostly paint, but I do also like to draw. And um, I'll talk to you a little bit about charcoal. So a lot of you have probably drawn with a regular number two pencil, like at school. And you can see a pencil makes this kind of really skinny, um, defined line that can be a little bit harder to erase. This is kind of, this kind of drawing is called, um, this tool is called graphite. And this stuff here, even though we call it lead, it's not actually lead like the metal. It's another material called graphite. Charcoal is this other thing you can draw with that's totally different. And it looks like this. It's different than the charcoal that you used to have a barbecue, but it looks kind of similar. See, it's really dark. And it makes these nice kinds of textured lines on paper. See how it looks really different from the skinny graphite pencil. And you can actually just kind of wipe it with your hands, and it comes right off. So it's great because it lets you do a lot of uh, sketching very quickly and then erase. It also lets you make different shadows and tones. And there's also different kinds of charcoal. So you can see this charcoal and the kind of mark that that makes versus this charcoal and the kind of mark that it makes, right? It's a little bit different. See, this is called compressed charcoal. So it's not erasing as, equally compared to, as easily compared to this one. So charcoal is a really cool thing to try drawing with. If you, if you have some experience drawing with a graphite pencil like this, and you've never tried charcoal before, it might be something you want to check out. But you also have to be careful because it's very messy. So you see I have charcoal all over my hands, which I actually kind of like because I like messy art. So thanks for the great question, Bianca. Yes, I really enjoy drawing with charcoal. And that's it for Ask Eve. So I hope to see you all around the museum. Take care, and don't forget to keep making art.